Reigning Kentucky Teacher of the Year has left the classroom. We first met Willie Carver when he was named the 2022 Teacher of the Year. A of course, it's a huge honor. Then several weeks ago, the openly gay teacher went to Washington, D.C. to testify to Congress about LGBTQ inclusion in schools. He said members of the community have mischaracterized him and the students in his school group and that he wishes the district had done more to defend them. That's one of the reasons he's moving on. Still, though, he says he sees brighter days ahead. Sean Moody has the LEX 18 big story at 11. There's ebb and flow, and right now we're ebbing towards hate as a country, and so I accept the reality of that. Willie Carver says he's experienced that ebb personally. For the past several years, he's been the sponsor of Open Light, an LGBTQ-affirming club at the school that does service activities. He says people have attacked the group and that at least one person has accused them of grooming. This person was sharing my students' information online, for example, um, sharing their names and profiles. Um, and I, I personally think that's the sort of thing that districts have to start standing up to and saying, you know, there's a line in the sand. Um, we're not going to pretend that racism is politics. We don't need to pretend that homophobia is politics. We're not going to pretend that attacking students is a, a valid political opinion. So after more than a decade in the classroom, the reigning Kentucky Teacher of the Year is moving on. Um, and I think that in the long run, the best approach that I can take is to get out of a classroom if I'm going to have to face these sorts of voices and not get support in facing them. Carver will be an academic advisor in the Gatton College at the University of Kentucky. He says the college is making inclusion a high priority. I think the University of Kentucky is pushing the conversation forward in the most important ways. And I can't imagine a better place um, to be situated in order to be a part of that conversation and sort of set the tone. There's this train of progress, and I've kind of been at the caboose for a few years pushing things along, um, and I think it's going to be nice to be near the engine. He hopes his students can take a big life lesson away from the whole experience. If anything, I hope that this experience has taught them that it's important to speak up. Um, that's what I hope my legacy is, not necessarily about me, but just that I'm going to see people speaking up. In Lexington, Sean Moody, LAX 18 News.